let's see about property optimization before we proceed to work on property optimization we need to understand what is the need of optimization and before that i have a question suppose your work object is getting saved right along with the transaction data the work object is getting saved into work table okay like this each data in prpc all the data will be saved into some table in pj pv stream column in block format okay suppose let me create a case now just simple example case customer details flow i'm going to run So here I am going to provide first name. So for this work object ID, December twenty one seventeen one. This work object data would have been saved into work table. So here is our work table. Yeah, in this table, data will be getting saved. So here. when the data is getting saved you don't have first name last name all those things here so you have only prp we stream the data everything will get saved into binary format now i am going to write a query i am going to sorry i am going to write an activity technical create activity just to browse the database so obj browse i am going to browse from work table so obj browse i want to browse work table on to page test page suppose so with a where condition so we can write where can we have written where conditions right suppose dot py id i want to fetch py id where it is not equal to py id starts with suppose december cases dec starts with dec save this so this will be saved without any issues so if i run this activity now it is going to fetch all the work objects where py id work object id starts with december means any of the work objects that you have created in the month of december will be fetched okay now let me check out this it has saved without any issues now look at here suppose if i want to add another one another property i am adding py status py status work is uh, is not equal to otherwise okay is not equal to something pending something i am going to write and then save this so now these two columns i have used these two are columns of work table or not yes, yes. so what about first name last name are those columns or not <clears throat> those are available in the database or not suppose first name so first name is equal to something and then save this so now i got error message what is the error message 
so only exposed properties can be selected in where clauses first name is not an exposed property so if you look at the table see you have pyid column available here where is it pyid column is available and py status work is there py status work somewhere it should be there here <coughs> PY folder, PY <coughs> ST. PY status work is there. In this column also available. So like this, all the columns are available here. First name column is there, but data is there. Where is it available? PZ, PV string. See, first name will be available here in this column. Okay. So if this is your PZ, PV stream. So this is PZ PV stream column. So in this column, all other columns of the work copy data will be available. Like how many properties are available here? So these are, each property is a column for the table or not? Each property of a class is column for the table. Age, first name, last name, including this insurance details, customer search, vehicles list and all these all the properties of a class are columns to the table but these columns are not available outside like py status work and py id these are available inside pj pv stream now this is pj pv stream inside pj pv stream you will be having multiple columns Like this, there will be n number of columns. So this column is, this is first name, this is last name, age, gender. So like this, all the data inside PJPV stream will be available as the columns. Like properties are inside this, this one single column, there are many columns. How many properties you add? It will keep on add the columns there. Okay. Now, if you want to access these columns in P in the OBJ browse where conditions. In OBJ browse where condition, if you want to access these columns, so PRBC throws an error message. Only exposed properties are can be selected in the where class. So this is where these are not exposed. These are inside PJB stream. If you want to use these columns in the where conditions, you need to expose these columns. So this is called exposing a column or exposing property or you can say optimizing a column or optimizing a property. So if what happens when you optimize the property is the suppose if I optimize first name. So the first name column will be created outside. Outside here PRPC adds a column name called first name. So now this first name column has been optimized this is been optimized or exposed whatever you want to say both are same so whenever i am going to optimize this first name column or expose first name column prpc will create a physical column here and data also will come so now this column can be accessed in the where conditions of obj browser or also report definition rules so without exposing a column, you cannot use in the report definition rules or the activities where conditions. But from Pega 7.2 onwards, you can use in the report definition rules, but it will be a performance issues. But still activities you cannot use. It will throw compilation error message. Okay. So it will throw a compilation error message that you cannot use unexposed properties or unoptimized properties in where conditions of OBJ browse. Okay. So now look at here. I am going to optimize this property. What is that first name? Huh? So first name I am going to take. So so far you have only PJPV stream is the last column, right? So I am going to optimize first name. For that I have to right click on first name, optimize for reporting. And then Just click on this wizard next. Next. Finish. 
so it has been finished so this job will run in background so if you refresh this now see you have first name column added in the back end okay so let me refresh this <coughs> for some time See, data is also copied from blob to exposed column. So, like this, you have got this first name column out of blob. It's a copy of the column or cut paste. It's a copy of the column. So, it is going to take the copy of the data from blob and make it available outside. It will be still available in inside blob. So, like when you are going to suppose if you zip the zip some set of files. If you want to get the files, you are going to unzip it. So after you unzip, zip file and inside files will be still there. And outside also you will be having files. Copy of those files will be coming out. So like this, PRPC is same concept in case of database. This is the zip column. You are going to unzip one of, unzip one of the column from the zip and it will make, out, make available outside. That is called exposing or, exposing or optimizing a property okay so now if i want to save this activity it will be saved so if i'm going to give last name here suppose if i want to write the query based on last name what happens now value only not a problem if it should if it is something like where condition then it cannot be used last name cannot be used here so this is what property optimization clear any questions? Any doubts? Yeah, so these column values are the values inside the blob for this first name. So for this PRPC will execute alter query. Alter query will be executed and with the property name it will create a new column. And after that the data will be populated from PJPV stream into altered column by using a job called column population job. Okay, so write down.